what my job is in the spring and if everything like that. So I've had a pretty smooth transition into fall camp thus far. The, the safety piece of it, I mean, that seems like there's some jobs open there. Um, I mean, what, what's that competition kind of like among you? I mean, Deshaun's a new, newcomer too. I mean, yeah. how does that kind of play now? Uh, every day we battle. So it's a friendly battle, though. You know, it's not any hate, no animosity between us, but we know that we got to come out there and work our butts off every day to be the start, get the starting job, and that's just the demeanor everybody's had. So, um, Nobody has a spot right now. Every spot is open, especially in the room with Coach Fish. Uh, he doesn't hand out anything to anybody, so everything has to be earned every day. And you know, we just got to keep working hard. It seems like he does a pretty good job of. I mean, even starters and even guys that kind of been around for a while, he does a good job of making sure they're not comfortable. Oh uh, yeah. You can, I, I mean, how does he do that? I I I don't know. Honestly, I don't I don't know what his tactics is, but they work. Uh, there's never a moment where you can get too comfortable, like get too lackadaisical, feel like you don't got anything to work for anymore because at any given moment, you can lose your spot in a snap of a finger. And, you know, just just knowing that Coach Fish doesn't, you know, you know, you hear about some coaches playing favoritism and stuff like that for players that have been around. Coach Fish wants his best and most ready guys on the field at all times. And if you're showing that that's you, then you're just it's going to be on the field for him. With, uh, I mean, you guys lost a lot of veterans from your group, um, probably a lot of leadership. I mean, who, who's kind of stepped up and really kind of driving things for you guys right now? Um, um, definitely, you know, Miles, Q, myself. We've been since Braxton Clark. I'm sorry, I can't forget Braxton. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm the youngest out of the group of us, but those guys were playing with Cam, Deontay, Markel for – three, maybe Brax four years. So they got a great feel of what the culture should be in the room. And just me and my experience last year getting being around those guys, I got a chance to see like what what needs to be done to be a productive group. And um, just being able to carry that over and get it to the other guys that just got in has been great because they just hopping right on board, getting right on the train. And at this point, it doesn't really seem like it's any one person that's taking control of everybody. It's like we're all collectively making sure everybody's good in the group. Are you doing you specials? Oh, yeah, I'm on. I love special teams. I'm on all special team stuff. Is the, the emphasis around that piece of the game different than what it has been in the past? Uh, honestly, we had some unfortunate things go down on special teams last year. It's, it's not like we weren't preparing or anything like that. The preparation was definitely there. It's just executing certain things. But the emphasis on special teams has definitely been a lot more high since since last season, considering that, you know, we got a lot of new kickers. We got a lot of new specialist guys. And those guys have been showing some good signs thus far. So I'm excited for special teams this year, honestly. Um, the emphasis has always been, since I've gotten here, that special teams is the most important team to be on. So, What's the, what's the biggest difference you've noticed having Coach Bush there now? Oh, um, <laughs> Coach Bush is Coach Bush is high energy, high tempo type of guy. So, um, it's just it's just really with him. If you do your job right and you you're not messing up, you getting all the mental reps done, then you're gonna be good with Coach Bush. But as soon as you start jacking around, trying to act like special teams aren't that serious or anything like that, then that's when he kind of he got to get on you a little bit. What's been the feel of camp just through three full practices? Uh, camp has been amazing thus far. Uh, seeing how everybody can, you know, in such a short time, you know, we just had guys come in this summer even. And it seems like we've been practicing together since the spring. And it's just it's just good to see how everybody can gel together so close. And honestly, I've last year I wasn't as close to, as I was to any offensive guys, as many I'll say, at least as I am this year. Everybody, the team camaraderie is just great and the effort level has been out of the world. How some of the, maybe some of those newer leaders uh, emerged? I mean, last year there were some clear leaders yeah. on the defense. Um, how have you seen Q, Miles, Garrett, Ty's kind of taking some leadership. Yeah. Have you seen them emerge? Um, those guys have been doing a great job. You know, 
those are older veteran guys. They have their playing experience on the field and they know what it takes to win games. They know what it takes to, you know, get the job done on the defensive side of the ball. So they've been doing a fantastic job, especially with like, you know, we just had a lot of new guys come in in the spring and even the summer. So just making sure everybody is on the same page. They've been doing a really good job with that.